Bill Show. Today is our Super Bowl edition. Uh, we're filming this Saturday night. Uh, I'm your host, Rick. This is the co-host, Crystal. And our guest today is Brenton, a young uh, boy in school. Um, that's what the paperwork said. Hello. Okay, let's start off with uh, the game tomorrow, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Kansas City is 16-2 with Patrick Mahomes, the uh, young quarterback. I think they won the Super Bowl last year. And uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 14-5. And, of course, they have the magical, mysterious Tom Brady, who, <laughs> who never ages. Um, first, I'd like to ask you guys about your first memory of the first time you have any knowledge of a Super Bowl. I will tell you mine. Um, I was aware of this stuff back in the 70s when uh, my dad and my uncles, you know, would watch it. And uh, I was a young idiot, so I didn't pay any attention to it. But my first solid memory was of the Bears in 85 uh, when they went to the Super Bowl and trounced the uh, New England Patriots. This is way before Tom Brady. Uh, they did the uh, Super Bowl shuffle, and uh, we had the refrigerator uh, parried in there. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. But, uh, they, I don't, of course, they went back uh, years ago and uh, lost superbly. But that's my memory. Uh, my first memory was the Bears. Of course. Well, what was yours? Uh, I mean, I remember watching football when I was a kid with my family. Uh, but I really didn't get interested in football until I was an adult working. And we just discussed it at work. Didn't you bet on games and Okay, stuff? yes, <laughs> I bet on games. <laughs> we did all these different ways of betting, and it really was interesting that way. And typically I would just pick off the color of the team. <laughs> That's not a very wise way to bet well. You, know, you got to have some kind of rhyme or reason. She's a girl. She's a girl. What's your first name? All right. One day I was at my dad's house and we were sitting down watching football and we were watching the halftime show. I'm pretty sure it's Lady Gaga. That's a uh, recent memory. What is that? Uh, three years ago or so? I don't know. Isn't she the... No, it's the weekend, right? That's going to do the halftime. Lady Gaga did it like less than 10 years ago. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Wait a minute. Wait, he's 17. You know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what do you expect? Right. <laughs> I'm the youngest one here, Rick. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we got. Uh, 45. I have three college degrees. Um, uh, three women. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. It says uh, the producers work with these questions for me. I don't have anything to do with it. Uh, question Britton about his football experience. Um, what was training like when you were uh, in football? Yeah, yeah. Well, one, whenever we were dumb. We had to run to this tree. We named it Treesha. Yeah. Every single time I ran out to it, I gave it a hug and a kiss. <laughs> it was a very passionate affair. Yeah, my girlfriend was very, very happy about that. Yeah, I, um, anyway. What's this have to do with training? Oh, yeah. yeah you guys about training. See, I think it's a training. You, you don't know this about Britain. <laughs> Britain, I want you to list off all the sports you played. I was in football, wrestling, uh, track, and cross country. That's a different baseball? story. Yes, baseball. Once I got nailed in the face, that was fun. I was in basketball. Uh, my memory is failing me. I got hit in the head too many times in football. Once I got yeah. kicked in the face. At one point, you were in karate <laughs> for a little bit. Oh, yeah, for no, a like uh, kickboxing. Oh, was it kickboxing? Yeah. Yeah, that didn't last very long. That's fun, though. Be, you know. That's a lot of sports. Kids. That's a lot of sports. <laughs> Punching things is fun. It's not always the right answer, but it is fun. Don't, Don't punch, punch people. Don't punch <laughs> or, <laughs> or objects. Don't punch okay, things. Okay, just got another question. What were games like or when you were oh. on, when you played football? What were the games like? Well, one of the first games I remember was a jamboree where we had all kinds of different teams playing. And honestly, it was a lot of fun uh, because we okay, each side had 11 people, yeah. But sometimes... Me and this one kid named Brendan would get our names confused. They'd be like, hey, Brendan, get off the field. And one time we both ran off the field. We both ran to our dads. We were like, oh, man, I'm sorry about that. Because I had just got done face planning. So I thought they were calling me in because I just slammed on the ground. Because I was, I, was I was slowly getting lower and lower. Middle school, high school football, folks, yeah. you know. Yeah. Safe and safe, perfectly safe. I went to my dad. I'm like, yeah, that was embarrassing. And he was like, yeah. Yeah, that was stupid, but it's okay. You know, you're fine. I'm like, and they're like, we're missing somebody. <laughs> okay, so in summation, uh, what training was like? We talked about Teresha. The oh yeah, Teresha. <laughs> uh, what were games like? Uh, we talked about you and another fellow, similar names, and you got face planted, and you both ran off the field. Yeah, so essentially, I have been answering different questions. Okay, I got a question for uh, Crystal, Princess Crystal, who happens to be his mother. Um, 
Didn't you try out for cheerleading? I did. I did. I did. I was not very successful at it. Now, whenever I was in the fifth gr or fourth grade, no, it was fifth grade. When I was in the fifth grade, I was in basketball. And I was really good at it. I really was. And I loved it. But it was a long time ago, and they didn't have a girls' team. And I was the only girl on the team, and I got made fun of, like, really, really bad. No, that was tough. Yeah, and so the following year, in my sixth grade year, I decided I'm going to get in pom-poms. Because I was like, What's I'm not going to... Uh, pom-poms are, like, cheering with, like, pom-poms and, like, dancing. Oh. And cheerleading, you're doing more of the gymnastics oh, and yeah. like and like height and throwing and stuff like that. That's dangerous. I like the pom pom too. Yeah, and so I, I really enjoyed pom poms. I did that for a whole year, uh, and then I didn't try out for cheerleading until the ninth grade, and I wanted to get into cheerleading, and I was I was pretty good at like the gymnastics and stuff, but the thing was is I wasn't the best. You know, and there were so many people applying, you know, trying out for it. How is that different than pageants when you used to do pageants? It's all competitive. It's all very competitive. When I was doing pageants, uh, I just really, I enjoyed it. I did. I loved it. I didn't really like getting all the makeup put on as much. I thought that... It's a uh, factor. I thought that the person putting my makeup on always did it too thick. And so before he would, I mean, after he would leave, I would just like wipe <laughs> off part of my makeup, you know, before I'd go on stage. And then the only other thing I want to say about beauty pageants is everybody was nice to each other until like the end. And then like everybody would be standing there and waiting for them to call the winners and the second runner up and the first runner up and stuff like that. And everybody's standing there, all these girls are standing there. And they're crying because they're disappointed that they didn't win. Right. You know, and I was one of those girls, you know. Now, I did win Prettiest Eyes once. The, the, our dog just interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you can't see her butt. This is a Jasmine, our Doberman Oh, you can see her face. Yeah, she's as and black as that's, that's Brittany, and they hate each other. They, <laughs> they do. Each other. Good Brit Brittany's like eight years old. Uh, Jasmine's not even a year old. She's born May of last year, so yes. they, they hate each other. Okay, let's move on to some uh, other questions. Is, is there a... That'll, that'll get us into some other areas. Britton, we have some uh, questions here for you. Ooh, okay. Sent in by viewers. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's see. The first one is uh, school and COVID. How's COVID affected you at school with this remote learning? Well, it has really sent my grades in a down spiral, and on top of that, it affected my successful donut business. Right, right, yes. right. Mm -hmm. The donut year. business. Hey, last year I was buying and selling donuts, you know, you could uh, get them for $6 and you could pick your own box or you could uh, come back later and get a box for 2 bucks where they uh, picked it out on their own. But what I was doing was I was picking it out, I was having them hide and I'd come back later and I'd get it for 2 bucks. And That's I was not coming. good. You shouldn't have had them hide it. Well, well, I, well it wasn't hiding, it, it, was, it was consensual. You know, that, everyone was happy with that because people were getting one dollar donuts at school. Which leads us into the number two, girls. Uh, how how is the girl? How how is the um, my love life? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it's going fantastic. Well, that's great. that's great. Now I'm legally required not to talk to you about this, but maybe someday once you're older, I can tell you. Oh, well, I got a foot in the grave when I'm older. <laughs> All right. uh, oh, number three, uh, games. What 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 are you playing right now? Oh, okay. So currently, I'm playing a phone game, Final Fantasy: Brave Exodus. It's if you like uh, Final Fantasy, that's a good game to get into because it's got all the different, you know, characters from all the different universes. Like even Final Fantasy Near Automata, but that's a limited time edition game. You know, I mean, you can't you can't get it currently in a game. Uh, but uh, Near Automata is a fantastic game. It has beautiful graphics. It has very fluid attacking motions, and once you're uh, in that game, it's it just it's very immersive. Like uh, the story is so in depth, and it's it's amazingly written. I know, I know, I should be an English professor. Mm -hmm. I stumble on my words sometimes. Disclaimer, he's still in high school. Yes. Uh, not an English professor. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> Can I ask you this? Uh, what, what are you reading? What am I reading? Oh, I'm actually reading a book called The Plague Year. It's not what you think it's about, though. It's actually about drugs. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, talking about these kids that uh, are stuck in the world of drugs. I'm only like 40 pages in, so I haven't gotten the entire story yet. 
but it's about this one kid who's worried about his... Am I ever, no, there's, a, there's this one kid who works at the grocery store, and at the beginning he stops a robbery by trying to run them down in a van. It was a pretty good start to the story. Um, and some of his friends are going into the world of drugs, and his sister... It's a good story, I just don't have enough information to describe it yet. And plus, I probably want it anyways, you know, read that book. Well, that, lead, that leads us right into hand-drawn comics. Can you tell the viewers uh, how the comic started and how they evolved and they kind of stopped? But, uh, give us a premise of what they're about. The stories of Mr. Noodle. It's That's one right. of my no, favorite it, it, franchises. Is it Captain Noodle? Detective Noodle? No, no, you, you were on my characters. Captain Rick. No, you're uh, talking about Mr. Noodle. Inspector Noodle. Mr. Noodle. <laughs> well, do you work for the police force or not? I am legally obliged to not tell you that. Okay, so see, here's the thing. He drew these comics years ago, and uh, Inspector Noodle, Detective Noodle, that, that was, and uh, I was uh, Captain yeah, Rick, and I was the guy that would do it. always yell at him, Noodle, get in here! You know, Noodle! And he, he drew the hand-drawn comics. Uh, yeah. Did they stop, you know? Well, yes, for a, I only made them for a short time, but uh, I really enjoyed making them, you know, they were just, I would fold the, uh, a regular piece of paper, you know, a lined paper in uh, different, four different sections, and I, in each section there would be four boxes, and I would write that, I, I'd make these little drawings, and I'd put boxes above it with all the dialogue, and at one point there was a multiverse, let me tell you, not easy to withhold. I think a lot it's of people have drawn easy. comics. I, yeah. drew, I drew when I was in middle school. I enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah, we know you drew. <laughs> I hope we invite you back on our show. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, viewers. Always be generous and nice to the host. Um, okay, we've talked about your sports, and uh, can we talk about your faith, uh, your beliefs? Well, I am Christian, but I'm kind of all over the place trying to find out what different parts of Christianity there are. It's very confusing. I, it is. I am is. lost. Searching for truth, right? Yes. Yeah, always search for truth. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I already talked about all this. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's all the questions we have for you today. Mm. I have a question for you. So, uh, let's wrap things up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we brought our dogs on here because the last video we made, the first video, this is the second video, uh, we had uh, Jasmine howling in the background. <laughs> we cage train her, of course, so, uh, you know, just, you know, when she has to go take a nap, and uh, she was in there moaning. Sounds like a Wookiee who is really lonely. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Like. We should make a movie about Jasmine. And we will this year. We will. There will be a, the Doberman, the Great Doberman. Uh, coming movie. next year. And it, it'll, it'll be a three-minute movie. Oh, yeah. I've yeah, got big plans for this channel. Big plans. Uh, Crystal, anything you want to say? Anything you want to talk about? Uh, uh, it, yes, yesterday I did have my hernia surgery, and I'm in massive pain right now. Uh, we want to get these videos out. Um, and uh, trust me, I'm retired. I've got weeks to recover. But uh, we want to do high-quality videos for you and uh, have a lot of fun. Um, we're just in doing baby steps right now. All this is new, but um, trust me, you've never met anybody like me and uh, Crystal. And uh, we are one, once you get to know us, we're one heck of a couple. I am a recovering drunk. Uh, I don't drink anymore, you know. And uh, drinking was a lot of problems for me, but uh, um, I'm into so much stuff. So uh, there, there's a lot more to me than the uh, recovering drunk thing. And uh, Crystal will tell you some stuff about her later. And uh, Brinton over here, he's the youngest of five boys. Uh, some would say the smartest, some would say the uh, most sarcastic, some would say intelligent, some would say clever, and uh, too clever for his own good. So right now he's going through those fun teenage years where he's just the greatest kid and then he's this lying, uh, just sack of doo-doo. Sugar honey iced tea. What? Sugar honey iced tea. Is that a new song? <laughs> Watermelon sugar? <laughs> I'm not going to say what it stands for. Sugar honey ice cream? <laughs> what are the first four? I mean, okay, look at the first letter in each of the words. Oh! That's <laughs> oh now, I'm slow! <laughs> <laughs> this is a family channel, and we don't spell out curse words here. No smoking, no cuss. No. Anyway, no. flying no. high up here, above the earth, as you can see, uh, uh, we've got room for three people up here. Um, and a fourth. 
Say hello, Bruce. Well, if you count the dogs, but uh, we gotta teleport the dogs down. They can't stay up here howling, moaning, and making noise. But, uh, we're gonna have a lot more backdrops. We're gonna do a green screen, black screen, a white screen. We're gonna do everything. Uh, as long as the dogs don't hit the lights. Um, anything you guys would like to wrap up? Uh, you need, uh, well, we gotta talk about the Super Bowl. Now, I'm really hey. excited. I, I like both teams, Kansas City and uh, Tampa Bay. They're just the quarterbacks. I'm really excited about the quarterbacks. Should be a good, good game. Uh, I don't know. You know. I and guess the only thing I can really say about the Super Bowl is I'm not looking forward to seeing Tom Brady. Why is that? Because he needs to stop playing. He's so talented. He is know? very talented. He is. He's he went very into talented. a losing team and. He, they took, he took the Super oh, he's Bowl. great! I mean, he—he he, every team oh, he's on, it's like they win. Yeah. He's like forty-three. Yes, yeah. but huh? I'm saying he just needs to retire. What? Well, before he gets injured permanently, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, sorry. yeah, but he—I mean, he's—he's he's, he's amazing. But, but these guys get like twenty years, and that's it. You know, yeah. fifteen years, ten years. What do you think? Who, who do you think is going to win? Do you have any favorites tomorrow? Kansas City Chiefs or Tampa Bay Buccaneers? All right. Okay. <laughs> that, that pause. We saw yes. that pause. I guess that means when he's 18, I should start betting him on football. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyways, oh, so regarding I'm the kidding. movie I'm about the dogs, we always use our kids for illegal betting. <laughs> we always do. Um, joking, seriously, joking. Like, regarding the movie about the dogs, it's going to be the war versus geese and the return of the Doberman. Who will win? It's a clashing story that will be wearing, uh, well, it was going to be December, we're going to have to push it back a few years, you know, we need to First off, clarification, value. he's not writing the script. Second, we don't even know what's going to be in the movie, he has to rehearse. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll it, people just and as the send director, applications in the comments. On, on in the movie. Yes. Wait, no. This is my movie, this is your... You're going to have to get a haircut. Gonna to, uh, you're going to have to be a little taller, too. So Is that right. tall enough? Well, I'm looking for a tall, I need a tall character yes. with hair, too, so I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, so. I need some long, luscious hair. Oh, so wait. let's wrap it up for today. There's a song from the late 60s, Long, Beautiful Hair. It's a, it's a, that, uh, it's a like a Jesus opera. Hair, <laughs> long hair. I don't uh, think I heard that one. No. No. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, thanks, everybody. Yes, we, we're, we're excited to see you, and we're going to put out more of these, and uh, we're going to do more stuff, funnier stuff, better stuff, improve. We've got new directors, new writers working on everything right now. We fired the other batch. So uh, we'll see you later, and uh, take care, and God bless. Bye. God bless Bye, everybody.